Hi, welcome to Stock Story and the seventh and final um, point of analysis that I use when picking stocks. Uh, the earlier ones were all fundamental. Now we're looking at uh, technical analysis, uh, which is not really the nuts and bolts of what I do, but I still look at it. It never hurts to look what the market psychology is. I'm just going to increase the screen a bit. Uh, anyways, the... Um, uh, technical analysis basically looks at volumes and price actions of the, the actual stock as opposed to what we've been talking about in the earlier ones, which is uh, the uh, fundamentals of a company and seeing whether it's of good value. Uh, so anyways, uh, what I'll talk about here is a very simplistic view of technical analysis. It has never been something that's been very successful for me. Uh, but before I start, uh, just the disclaimer, I'm not a, a financial professional, uh, just a person who's passionate about uh, investing and really enjoys studying it and looking at it. And I'm happy to do these videos to document the journey that I'm taking and hopefully sharing it with other people will help them uh, either get started or uh, see some things that maybe they had questions about. Uh, anyway, so I'm looking right here at a, a, a chart of Bank of Nova Scotia. It's for five-year period and it's a weekly one. So it it's, uh, it's kind of a, a, a bigger picture type thing. But what I'm looking for is I'll have already done the analysis of the company to find out that it's got low PE, that my discount cash flow is good. Uh, so the calculator says the stock is cheap. It's got a strong balance sheet. All the things that I talked about before, and in this particular stock's case too, uh, it has a good dividend. I think at the time, uh, this would have been my second buy into it. My first one was over 5%. And the next one would have been around 4 for something as far as the dividend goes. Uh, so I've looked at all the fundamentals. So I'm just looking at technical analysis to uh, just give myself some confidence, but I certainly don't stop myself from buying. And, and I'll talk about that a little bit in one of the later charts here. But um, I'm gonna just look at this chart here that we have now. And if you take a look at it, uh, this area in here, you'll see these points each one here, you'll see that there's a base over five years. Uh, you know, the early 50s was um, sort of the lowest price it went to, and then it had a high here. Now, recently, it's actually broken the high. Um, you'll see this is the relative strength index, which compares it to the rest of the stock market. You can see it's showing as overbought. That doesn't mean that, hey, i got to go out and sell it now. Um, all it means is that it has run up. Um, and it actually has broken above its previous highs. So, so that often is a good technical indicator. But when I want to buy in, I'm looking at things like this line here and, and where it looks like there's a support for the actual uh, stock price. Um, you know, I know that it's a, a good value because I've gone through the other six uh, items as far as analyzing the stock. So, I'm not completely worried about it, but it's nice to see a base like that form because maybe it looks like the rest of the market seeing this is a great value and, and they're not going to let the price go down. If it broke down from this period, I would just probably buy more as long as I was convinced that this was a great company and it was selling at a really good price. And in uh, a Canadian bank like Bank of Nova Scotia's situation, I would feel that way. So this is the same chart, except I've, I've narrowed into that area where that base was forming. And that's that area right in here where my cursor is going over. And you can see uh, these are what they call candlesticks. And you'll see there's a body. There's, there's little stick lines that come out of them. And then there's a fat body, and, the, and that's the candle. And, and uh, if it's clear in the, in the body of the candle, that means the price went up. And if it's filled in, that means the price went down from, okay, so so in this particular, this long candle that I've got on my cursor, it would have, that the bottom means that it opened for, and because this is a weekly chart, it opened for the week. If it was a daily one, it would show the open for the daily, but it'll show that then down here, if it went up, then 
The bottom of this body is the actual opening for that week. The top of the body is the um, close for that week. And then this little wick down here, and it's very short, there's longer ones here, is where the price action went to but didn't close or open at that point. So um, uh, this tells you a lot about what happened in the week. So in these particular cases where this base was forming, you'll see that there was these red uh, candles that have a stick. They're almost like a, they're not really a, quite a hammer, but they have this. What it means is during the week, uh, even though it opened, it opened up here, in both cases, it went down as far as 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 what looks like maybe fifty two, fifty three dollar. Well, fifty two, fifty two, fifty. But in both weeks here, that caused buying, which brought it back up into the body again, um, and that is showing that the market has some buying interest in at that fifty two, fifty mark. Um, so I've got myself a. a, a, a a stock that, that I've decided fundamentally is, is of great value, has excellent fundamentals, is very strong, and I'm seeing this floor. I would want to start adding to a position. Now, if it breaks down from this base, uh, normally what a trader would do is they would put a stop loss in, and that stop loss would be designed uh, to, well, basically stop losses. That, that's why they call it that. As a value investor, I believe I got a good price in here, but as it goes down, I'm actually going to purchase more because I'm getting, I'm averaging my price down on what I already think is a really good deal. Um, the other thing I might do when I take a look here, there's a breakout from sort of the top of this congestion here. I might add to my position there too, because I've got some momentum. Usually when I buy, I buy with maybe three or four purchases to get my full position. Um, so if if it drops down, I get a bit better deal. If it's breaking out, I do play the momentum a bit. But I'm always doing it at a place where I feel that I've got a really fair value on, on, on what I think is a very good company. So here's here's a version now that, that is a daily version, and it's a very short one. I've... I've really focused in on that period of time where that consolidation or that that base was forming and this is on a daily version and you can see that each time it gets down to just below 5250 that uh, the stock price pushes back up and that and so that is really what I'm doing now this is very rudimentary uh, technical analysis there's some great people around the web if you if you search on youtube you'll find people like jason bond and and there's a number of others that i've seen uh that it's very interesting to read the stuff it's never been a, a positive thing for me uh i've found value investing to be my my preferred choice but um a lot of these guys are making some money, so it is another way to invest. There's there's many ways to you know skin a cat or whatever, uh, but um, in uh, in my case, I find one I'm a lot calmer if I'm doing value investing. I bought a company that's got great fundamentals, is solid, it's earning money, uh, and it's at a good price. And I'm pretty calm if the price goes down more. Like I say, I'll buy in more, and that's not like a trader, but. Anyways, this is the sort of thing. I look at this at the end. I don't make it the last thing. And, and I'll tell you a quick little story, and it's on on stockstory.ca. Uh, my early years, when I didn't know what I was doing, I was mainly reading charts like this. And uh, I wasn't doing very well. And then um, I saw Toronto Dominion Bank in Canada, which is a very good bank. I thought it was a very progressive bank. And I... I saw that it had crashed with the subprime even though it didn't seem like it deserved it so it had a price earnings of only eight it had a dividend of six percent uh all the metrics the discount cash flow calculator everything made this a buy but in those days i was reading charts and i was looking for a full base to form even though i had home run type fundamentals and value going and so I waited for it to hit a, you know, reach that bottom again. I wanted to see a base form. Instead, it just went up 
like a, a, a rubber ball that just bounced right up. It, it tripled in price over a few years. Um, they have grown their dividend over that time as well. So I would have had a 300%, I think 200% gain. Uh, on top of it, my 6% dividend on my original investment would have been uh, probably 8 or 9% by now. Uh, everything would have been great. But I, I, I focused too much on the, the technical analysis because I actually truly hadn't, wasn't looking at fundamental analysis and didn't have the confidence levels that I have now. So I only look at this as a way to monitor, I don't know, adding to positions, uh, and sometimes even selling off a bit. I, I like to rebalance my portfolio quite regularly. So I do use technical analysis a little bit, but as I say in the end, if I see a screaming deal on a great company, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to get an initial position in it, and then I might use the technical analysis to add to my position or figure out going beyond there, but that's it. Uh, anyways, that's a very simple form of technical analysis. As I say, if you want to do stock trading, then you got to go see these other guys. Uh, but this is something that can, I think, enhance a little bit uh, the value investing approach that I use. And that's that's that. Uh, so please subscribe to the channel. Uh, any comments you have, put them down below. Uh, and uh, if you want, please share with other people. I'd love to get this stuff out. Uh, I'm pretty new to this thing, but uh, I'm enjoying it. And I look forward to talking to you again.